seven different income tax return forms for the assessment year 2020-21. Out of these, five can be used by individual taxpayers depending on their income level, sources of income and other rules. It is important to choose the correct form as filing with the wrong ITR form is considered an invalid return by the income tax department. Here's how to select the correct ITR form. ITR 1 or Sahaj for assessing with salary and other income up to rupees 50 lakh. Who files the most used ITR 1 form? Well, ITR1 is for a resident individual assessee and a Hindu undivided family with a total income of up to rupees 50 lakh during the financial year 2019-20. Total income includes income from salaries or pension, income from one house property, income from other sources including interest on bank deposit but excluding income from lottery prize, racehorses, legal gambling etc an agricultural income of up to rupees 5000 who cannot use itr1 if total income exceeds rupees 50 lakh or agricultural income exceeds rupees 5000 this form cannot be used by an individual who is either a director in a company or has invested in unlisted equity shares assessee who is a non resident or not ordinarily resident having foreign assets or foreign income an assessee who has income from business or profession. Assessee who owns more than one house property or have taxable capital gains and individuals claiming double taxation relief. ITR2 is used as an extension of ITR1. The ITR2 form can be used by those individuals and HUFs who have income from salary or pension even if it exceeds rupees 50 lakh and or income from house property one or more in the previous financial year. If income from other sources includes winning a lottery or there is income from owning and maintaining a racehorse or income is taxable at special rates. An assessee who has investments in unlisted equity shares at any time during the previous financial year or an individual who is a director in a company can use ITR2. Resident and ordinarily resident or resident but not ordinarily resident and non-resident Indians can use ITR2. If someone has income in the form of capital gains, holds or has earned income from foreign assets or entity, has an income of more than rupees 5000 from agriculture, then that person too can use ITR2 to file tax returns. Who cannot use ITR2? It cannot be used by someone who had income from profits and gains of business or profession, who is a partner in a partnership firm and has income. Use ITR3 if an individual or a Hindu undivided family carry a proprietary business or profession. It includes doctors, lawyers or shopkeepers. Individual director in a company or partners in a firm can use this form. Non-resident or resident can use this form. Assessees who have income from salary, pension, house property or capital gains besides income from profession and business can use ITR3 form. ITR4 or SUGUM for presumptive income. It can be used by resident individuals and HUFs, partnership firms other than LLPs who had income either from a profession or from business in the previous financial year. It includes adoption and a presumptive income scheme according to sections 44AD, 44AE, 44ADA of the Income Tax Act 1961. Presumptive income scheme can be used by businesses that had a total turnover of less than rupees 2 crore. Use ITR3 if it exceeds rupees 2 crore. It can be used by eligible professionals with gross receipts of less than rupees 50 lakh during the previous financial year. The main advantage of opting for PIS is that you are not required to maintain books of accounts. Who cannot use ITR4? if your total income exceeds rupees 50 lakh. Those who wish to set off expenses with income earned cannot opt for PIS and thus ITR4 will not be applicable. Have more than one house property whether let out or self-occupied. Had agricultural income above rupees 5000. 
director in a company held any unlisted equity shares at any time during the previous year had financial interest in assets located outside and loss under income from other sources and so on ITR5 and ITR6 are not for individuals who can use ITR7 ITR7 can be filed by any person or company that is required to file a tax return under section 1394A income from a property held by a trust or under charitable or religious purposes section 1394B income derived by a political party section 1394C entities such as scientific research associations educational institutions hospitals and other medical institutions news agencies and so on section 1394d returns by colleges universities or any other section 1394e include business trust section 1394f include investment fund